Ah, alright. Well, I can go out. I don't think we want to go out, but okay. All empty. Of course. Nothing. Water's off. Walter, all oh, poor Walter. Not a zero All zip zilch. There's dog food. I mean, if you're desperate. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. <coughs> to stop working a while ago. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Why would they want to look at the table, though? <clears throat> Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Or heal me out. Sterilize something with it. Oh my god. The family photo. Hmm. Yeah. A little creepy. Exactly my style. Just as much bit creepy. Uh, it's a bathroom. Oh, there's some toilet paper. Hey, how's he doing? Hey guys. See you how's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. Could get you some alcohol. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Hey, Clem. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. <coughs> Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Do Oh, creepy. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Ha. <laughs> usually the bad one. It's always the last place you look that ends up being the most trouble. Jesus! Oh, sweet God. Uh, it's just a burn. What? About, what about. happened? I got attacked by a mop. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Some, uh, uh, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. 
but I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, Not down here. Food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? D I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! <laughs> Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Is that the kid that was in the painting? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. before he starved. Damn. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. I gotta keep it quiet as I can. I'm sorry. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. By his dog.
Russian Absolute depression. It's okay. It's a terrifying world. Hey, Clem. Hmm. Jesus. Hey! Hey! Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? <clears throat> Someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Hey, Kenny. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't don't be know. sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you wanna. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place one I more- I said I'm done with this house! We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? <coughs> I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't <coughs> ask Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. Yeah, at least I'm better this time around. East Bay.
Erken. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, totally fine. Hey, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what Anything. back there in the attic. No. Truth be told. You sure, man? I mean, river's right up ahead. Okay. I did say I was gonna forget about your feelings. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> She's kidding. Isn't that one just crawling? Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. <laughs> How are you gonna get it I'll unstuck? It you look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. <laughs> Just attitude. Okay. I'm just gonna go. You know what? Not even gonna bother with you. What was that? Why am I just going all the way over here for this? Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. Seriously. Huh. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. An abandoned newsstand. It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. Yep. Money is of no use in the apocalypse. Pop, 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 pop. Not exactly a welcome banner. What the hell? Oh my God! How the? Is just a pile of dead bodies? Using walkers like 
scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? Well, if I shoot them. Well, if I shoot them, they're just gonna draw more things near, so maybe I shouldn't shoot them. Just keep a good eye out for them. Great. Needs a quarter to work. <laughs> Damn. Built solid. Alright, cash register. Do you have a quarter? Because I am in need of some assistance. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Could be military tags, but what do they need? Am I gonna have to kill the zombies to get money? Better not. Okay, I gotta be able to get a quarter from somewhere. Quarter from somewhere that doesn't involve me making a whole lot of noise. Locked. Quarter. Duh. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Yeah, uh, don't what pay the, any attention to that. What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go use this. Like you want me to. Just watch my back. Please. And thank you. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. What? Hello? What the hell? Get down! Get down! Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. 
I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. Oh, they're good. No! Ah, ah. Ow! I got decked! Ah, I just got a pick! No! Help. Clem? Clem? Please, don't hurt him! You're not from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! <gasps> oh shit. Now you done made the He's zombies angry. Are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Hi, Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Not particularly, but tell us anyways. When everything started going to shit, some people got together <coughs> and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah, anyone who got sick, anyone too old, 
anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat could get out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Well, that's nice. Isn't that the... the way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... She gone. <laughs> Go Molly. Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you <coughs> to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please. Come on, make it fast. Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Come on! No oh, man, one good joke. No! Me! To the dumpster! No. Oh, that's nice. Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Ah, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. We're gonna die! Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. <clears throat> Shit. Sewers are always great to be in. Fly down there, come on, man. <laughs> well, gosh, now we're disgusting. Ugh. Dead rat. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Ugh.
it's a drainage pipe. I wonder how dark it is down here. Could be the way out. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. Okay. All right, this is going to be uh fun and bad at the same time. Can I come back out here now? Dang it, I'm scared. There's zombies. Maybe I could just whack him one good time, but I guess not. We are not here to whack zombies. Oh my god, could you just get down there, please? Won't turn anymore. I'm scared because there's a zombie out there. Good thing I'm out here and not in there. Hmm. Seems loose. Okay, so what do I do? Shit. Won't go anymore in that direction. I don't understand. I'm stupid. Please help. Okay. Okay. I... This is fine.
Maybe why not? I'm scared. <gasps> oh my god. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Keep moving. Crap. Oh God. Why did I do that? Fuck. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I panicked. I panicked. Shit, you broke off. That door is fucked. Oh my god, no. Stop. Pick up the ladder. Oh, for the love of fuck, I'm dead. What we're dead? Oh, for the love of fuck, are you goddamn kidding me? Get up there. Are you actually fucking kidding me? <laughs> you, it's not my fault! I mispressed the buttons! What do you mean you can't pick it up on your own? It's just a stupid ladder. Great. Just go through it. Don't question it anymore. Fell out shelter, huh? Cool. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Yeah, that's great. Wonder if someone's living down here. 
I hope not. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm stressed. It's fine. It's it's okay, you know. It's okay. We need a bath. We need a nap. And we need some cuddles. That's about all we need right now. <laughs>